Welcome to Behold the Real Jesus Broadcast, brought to you by the Jesus Only Broadcasting Network, located at www.jobn.tv, where you can go and see and hear the preaching of the Apostles' Doctrine of Christ, the Jesus Only Doctrine. This week we're going to go be getting into the work of God, the breastplate of judgment, for when judgment's in the earth, men will learn righteousness, and righteousness is that Jesus Christ is the Lord God Almighty. He is the blessed and only potentate. He is God, uh, the omniscient, omnipotent, omnipresent God Almighty, who made himself of no reputation, took upon himself the form of a servant made in the likeness of men. He proceeded from the Father. The Word came into the uh, physical dimension and was made flesh, dwelt among us, died, buried, and rose again, and went back to his former glory been made both Lord and Christ. And the body of Christ were called as kings and priests unto the Lord our God. In the Old Testament, these are types and shadows of that which is the true, of that which is to come. And it speaks of, uh, in Hebrews 6 and Hebrews 7, the Melchizedek, the ministry of Melchizedek. See how great this man was, who had no beginning of days, his pedigree there, uh, the lineage there, not of the priesthood, of which nothing was spoken of him, according to the priesthood, of which Abraham gave him the tithes of all after the battle of the kings. And when he saw Melchizedek, he gave him both bread and wine, the body and blood of Jesus Christ, alluding to our Savior. As we get into the Word of God and when the high priest garment, we're going to talk about the two onyx stones here on the high priest's garments. Now, the high priest there had uh, the onyx stones with six names of the tribes written on one and six on the other for the total of 12 tribes, six there and six there, which were according to the birth. Howbeit, the breastplate of judgment, there's diversity. Many called with a same spirit but different ministrations. Every member in the body of Christ has a particular work to do in the body of Christ that only the called individual can do as a member in particular of the body of Christ. Hebrew is read from the right to the left, and we're going to see now the, the institute there in Jerusalem has said that the breastplate of judgment was according to the birth. Uh, that could very well be so. Well, we're going to go with the work of the ministry for the apostles. He gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry. Now, the work of the ministry is the unique design of a cunning work, a work of the ministry, a cunning work uh, there on the breastplate of uh, judgment. And we will talk about the stones, the two smooth stones of Urim and Tumim, with the order of the tribes there, according to Numbers 2, we're going to see that Judah had the preeminence. Now, we're reading right to the left. This would be the stones of the breastplate of judgment that you just saw in the high priest here. We just have an enlarged uh, here for our illustration. The Urim and the Tumim, the Urim, uh, Abraham came out of the land of Ur, of the Chaldees. It speaks of Zerubbabel, uh, born in or conceived in Babylon. But God's not the author of confusion. God is not the author of confusion, and he will lead us and to guide us into all truth, and uh, that is the two mean perfections for the perfecting of the saints and the work of the ministry. 
just as Abraham, the father of faith, came out of the land of Ur and came all the way unto perfection as the father of faith. So will also the body of Christ and the Urim and the Tumim. Urim meaning lights or fire, and it, it starts with the Aloth, the first letter of the Hebrew ABC theory in the longest chapter of the Word of God, that is Psalm 119. Going into the ABCs, the Aloth through the Tav of the Hebrew ABC theory. There will be 22 letters, and each of the letters will have a numeric value, a number value, and also speaks in pictures. There we will see the Aloth through the Tav, and we're going to be talking about uh, the signs, the Aut, the Aloth Tav, the signs, the wonders, and what that is and what will befall the people of God in the last days and the great glory that will be revealed in the church. I think you will find this to be a great encouragement for those that are going through tribulation and persecution for the Word of God, for His name's sake, which is a manifest token or sign, a manifest token or not, a sign of the righteous judgment of God that we might be counted worthy of the kingdom of God for which we also suffer. The Tav, we're going to see, is the last letter of the Hebrew ABC diary, the Aloph being the first one, and this is what we see in Gaul, which is to roll, Gaul, Ga, Tha. That Tha is an Aloph Tav, so on the Gaul, Gaul, Tha, or Calvary, Gaul, Gaul, to roll away, to roll away our sins, the Aloph Tav hung there. The A to the Z, everything that God is, was, and ever will be. And the Son of God died upon the cross for you and me. Not just a man. Yes, he was a man. Without a shadow of a doubt, for the Lord God Almighty made himself of no reputation, took upon him the form of a servant, made in the likeness of men, and being found in fashion as a man, humbled himself to death, the death of the cross. The man there, the Lord Jesus Christ, However, is the Son of God, the Christ, the God of heaven, took upon himself the form of a servant in order to work salvation in and of himself alone. That's the reason you'll see on Golgol, or that is the wheel to roll, to roll away sins, the tha, the aloft tav. So all of the attributes of God from the A to the Z, grace and truth came by him, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who rolled away our sins on Golgol, the wheel, Tha, the Aloft Tav. And when we take a look at the first uh, seven letters of the Word of God, we see it's Bereshit, Bara Elohim, and that is in the beginning God uh, created. That is Bereshit, in the beginning, Bara created, Elohim, God, and we'll see the Aloft Tav again there. The Aloft Tav, Hashemayim, Vayert, Hayerts, the heaven and the earth. The center word there in that seven words of that Hebrew ABC theory, Bereshi, Bara, Elohim, eight, Hashemayim, Vayert, Hayerts. We see that that Aloft Tav is uh, the shamash, the servant branch of which all the other branches flow into and out of, for we're in Christ, and it's through him only that we have salvation. By going to the breastplate, knowing that we, as the body of Christ, are called to be kings and priests unto the Lord our God, that he has called us uh, there, and many call, few chosen. But those that he called, uh, them he also justified, them they justified, he also glorified. That to be conformed to the image of Jesus Christ. That glorification. We're saved from coming into repentance and being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, taking on his name, for as many as been baptized into Christ has put on Christ. That's the circumcision of the, circumcision of the heart in the spirit, whose praise is not of man but of God, the body of the sins of the flesh uh, destroyed by baptism, through faith in the operation of God through the circumcision of Christ. Colossians 2, 12, by baptism. With that said, then we're saved. 
when we're being saved. Now that, it goes into sanctification. We're consecrated to God. Now we go to sanctification. Sanctify yourself through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Now we have to continue on in the word. Uh, just as the Lord said, that by the renewing of our mind, that we may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God for us is. Now that is doing the will of God, not a hearer of the word only, but a doer of the word. And to know the person of Jesus is to know him as the Father, the Word, the Holy Ghost, God Almighty. But we also have to know the work, the work of God for the work of the ministry, the edifying of the body of Christ until we all come into the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of the Son of God and to a perfect man to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. The birthstones there upon the high priest's uh, shoulders, uh, there we have the onyx stones, which means to blanch or to make white. Six names of the tribes of Israel and six on the other shoulder of the high priest uh, there, which is according to birth. However, in the work of the ministry, we're going to see diversity now. Now, God's not a respect of any persons, but each member of the body of Christ has a work to do in uh, that ministration. The ministry, the ministration of the Spirit, the different, different works there in the ministration, but the same Spirit. There we find first going right to left, for Hebrews written from life right to left. We see the Judah written on the first stone according to Numbers 2. Now this is according to birth stones there on the high priest's shoulders according to birth. All are equal in God. However, in the work of the ministry... Every member has as a member in particular, and the I can't say to the foot, I have no need of thee, for God has put the more abundant honor on the less comely parts that there'd be no chism in the body. Therefore, there's going to be different colors. There's going to be different works there, but the same spirit in the body of Christ. The first one that'll go out to battle is Judah. Now, in Judah, we're going to see that he will have a... Standard, and we know that to be the line of the tribe of Judah. The standard over the going eastward there, eastward, will be that of Judah of the lion. Now, we're going to see this ties in with the four living creatures, the four zoe, the four beasts of Revelation 4 and Revelation 5 that preach the everlasting gospel in the last days when they say, come and see the line of the tribe of Judah, the lamb hath prevailed to open the seals of the book. The beast, uh, that is the living creatures, the church of the living God, uh, that have come into that, that glory of Jesus will be the ones preaching the everlasting gospel, saying, come and see. It'll go from the white horse, red, black, and uh, then the pale, and we'll see that work of God being preached. And the one that starts out here on the breastplate of judgment is Judah. Judah is a car Zebulun. Judah will be uh, praise as a car, my har, my buckler, my shield, my reward. Zebulun, we dwell in God and God dwells in us. The, the standard there is a lion. Then we go to the south. The south of that tabernacle we're going to see is Reuben. He lost that preeminence there. He is unstable as water. He went up to his father's couch. Reuben, see you, son. His standard is that, and that south part of the temple is that of a man. Well, Reuben, see you, son, Simeon, to hear and understand Gad, a troop cometh. That's our second row. Now we go to the uh, west of the tabernacle. And then we're going to see that that is Ephraim. Ephraim, double fruit. And Manasseh, crucified to the world, the world crucified unto you. And Benjamin, first Benoni, son of my sorrow, said Benoni, are now to Benjamin, son of my right hand. That has uh, the standard of an ox. And, of course, then to the north. And to the north we have uh, Dan. Dan means judge. 
first standard was that of a serpent, later on changed to an eagle. The eagle we're going to see in Revelation is a flying eagle in Revelation 4 and Revelation 5. Dan, Judge, Asher, blessed, happy, and fortunate are we. Nathalie, because of my wrestlings, speaks of the cross. There we have the four rows, three in each row, and the breastplate of judgment, for when judgment's in the earth, men will learn righteousness. Now we're going to talk about a sign, and the sign there, the sign is the aloft tov. It is the Urim and Tumim. It is the lights, fire, and perfections. And there's only going to be one time in the Word of God in Deuteronomy 33, which we'll see later on the broadcast. If you stay tuned to our four uh, different broadcasts this week, then you'll see that God changes a Urim and Tumim to the Tumim and Urim in the oath to the tribes, what shall befall thy people in the last days in Deuteronomy 33, 8. The signs. Now, God gave signs in the heavens. The signs in the heavens that gave, created the sun, the rule of the day, the moon, the rule of the night, and the stars are for signs, seasons, days, and years. The signs is the aloft tav. The same is in a token, the aloft tav. It's a sign. A sign, there is also a signet. For example, I give you a sign. The sign is the aloft tav. The Urim and Tumim. That sign is also a signet, a sign of the aloft tov or the signet or signature of God. In a signature, it's a sign, signature of God himself, putting his sign on it, which is the aloft tov. When we see here that this sign that God said there would be an engraving of a sign, and there will be three different engravings there for the bride of Christ. As we see here, as we get into Exodus 28, and know that we're called as kings and priests of the Lord our God, a king priesthood. Now, as we see Paul in Hebrews 6 was going to mention this and expound on the, the Melchizedek, the work of God in the last days, and he said to the church of the Hebrews, it's hard to be uttered seeing that you're dull of hearing. And uh, the ones of babes are unskillful in the word of righteousness. Now, Jesus, who knew no sin, became sin for us that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Righteousness is that he is God Almighty. He is the Father. He is the Word. He is the Holy Ghost. He is the Elohim. He is that Elohim 8, the Elav Tav. He is God. But he made himself of no reputation in order to come under the law to redeem mankind back to himself and what the law couldn't, could not do in that it was weak in the flesh. God sending his own son. What is that? The word made flesh. That's the father revealed in a body of flesh and blood, not a separate person of the Godhead. So in the last days, because we haven't understood this, God will do a work of judgment so that all may have the revelation of Jesus Christ, that he is the Aleph Ta, the Alpha and Omega, which is, was, and is to come, the Almighty, Revelation 1.8. Now, let's take a look at Exodus 28, which talks about the garments of glory and beauty, what will be robed in, in a type and shadow, therefore the bride of Christ. Jesus is our king priest. He is called the king of kings and lord of lords, and he's also the apostle and the great high priest of the profession of our calling. He is the king priest. We find here that Aaron, the Moses brother, and his sons with him, take them, and thou shalt make holy garments for Aaron and thy brother for glory and beauty. Only on the day of atonement will the Aaronic priesthood, the high priest, take off his garments of glory and beauty, put on the linen garments, being one with the people, going within the veil to make atonement for the people, and that for one year. Now, this is only to the wise-hearted to whom God is filled with the Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of Wisdom. 
and it's going to be a cunning work. We're going, it's the, it is a breastplate, an ephod, a robe broidered coat, miter, and a girdle. Girded our loins with the truth, and uh, these are garments for Aaron thy brother and his sons that he, singular one, may minister to me in the priest's office. Now, they'll take gold, that's the glory of God. Blue is the heavenly. That's the reason Mystery Babylon in Revelation 18, 17, Revelation 17, Revelation 18, cannot wear the blue. She's clothed with purple, scarlet, but she cannot wear the blue because she will never confess Jesus as the heavenly father of glory. She will always say the son is separate from the father. It is not one and the same. But the first thing it is, the gold is glory blue, is that Jesus Christ is the heavenly father. Purple, he is the king of kings, and scarlet, he is the man that shed his blood, out of, and it flowed on Calvary for the sins of the world. And fine linen, that is the righteousness that he is, and now literally for the propitiation makes the bride of Christ clean. It's gold, blue, purple, scarlet, and fine twine linen. This is a cunning work. The work of the ministry is a cunning work. It can't be figured out by man's wisdom by reading a newspaper or going to some seminary. It's only revealed by the Holy Ghost. Now, there's two shoulder pieces, and they're joined with two edges, and it's joined. Everything that God does is one. It joins whichever joint supplies to the edifying of itself in love. It is a curious girdle. That curious girdle is the truth of the Word of God and the Holy Ghost that reveals it. It's according to the work thereof. It's of gold, blue. Jesus is a heavenly. There's the glory of God. God has shown forth His glory in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in earth and vessels that the excellency of the power might be of God and not of ourselves. Purple, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Scarlet, that crimson blood flow of Jesus on the cross of Calvary, fine twine linen, the righteousness of the saints, the two onyx stones that we saw over here, right there on the shoulder of the priest's garments there, you'll take those two onyx stones and you engrave on them the names of the children of Israel according to their birth. Now, the birth is all are equal in God. God is no respecter of persons. He does not esteem one above another. It is according to the birth. It's your birth. God is no respecter of persons. With the work of an engraver in stone. The stone there is the stone which the builders rejected has become the head of the corner. It is the engravings of a signet. The signet there is the sign aloft tall. That is the alpha and omega. It's the engravings of Jesus Christ, the aloft tall. He is the A to the Z of God. He is all the attributes of God. He is the truth. He is the way. He is uh, the Lord of glory. There is not another Lord. There's no God Jr. He is that Lord. You will engrave them with two stones with the names of the children of Israel. Thou shalt make them to be set in ouches of gold. There's your glory. God has shown forth his glory in the face of Jesus Christ. You want to see God, look at him. He is God manifest, the Father manifest in a body of flesh and blood. Put it in ouches of gold, set in ouches of gold. The gold is glory. Those two stones are upon the shoulders of the ephod for the stones of memorial unto the children of Israel. God has remembered, and there shall bear their names before the Lord upon his two shoulders for a memorial. There they make those ouches of gold, a wreathen work. Here's that work of God again. It's twisted, it's pulled together through twisting in uh, that Naphtali, my wrestlings, cross, the government of God, the cross of, on your life. Now make him and fasten the reason change to the ouches. Now, this will be a breastplate of judgment. All God's ways are judgment. And when judgment's in the earth, men will learn righteousness, that he is the father of glory, that he is the uh, alpha and omega, the beginning and the end, uh, which is, wasn't it to come, the almighty God, Revelation 1.8. It is a cunning work. 
after the work of the ephod, shalt thou make it. The ephod, ephod is going to be bound with a curious girdle, which will be ephodized. The same way that we become one with God, those that have been baptized of Christ, put on a Christ, and is one spirit. These that are joined to the Lord is one spirit that is in union with him. And you become one with the Lord, and it will be being doubled, a span length thereof, span the breadth thereof. And then there will be these four rows of stones. That will be the work of the ministry. The work of the ministry will be a curious work. And we're going to see on that first row, a sardius, topaz, and carbuncle, which we just saw over here, is uh, that Judah is a car Zebulun. And the second row, we're going to see is Reuben, Simeon, and Gad. It's going to be that second row. And all of these are going to be 12, four rows in each row. And it's engravings of a signet. That signet is the sign. Jesus has given a sign to the people. The sign is a signet. And that is uh, the aloft tov, which Jesus is that hung on the cross for you. And me that we might be heirs, joint heirs with Jesus, than if it be that we suffer with him. Tune in this week as we get into the work of the ministry. And if you'd like to know more, you can get DBM offer number 90. Ask for it. We'll get it to you for a gift of $10 or more. That just ask for the breastplate of judgment. Offer number 90, DBM-90, gets you the stones of the breastplate of judgment. Until the next time, this is Brother Dennis Beard saying, Behold the real Jesus. Well, praise God, neighbor. In the last days, the Lord God himself, Jesus Christ, will send strong delusion upon all those uh, because they received not the love of the truth and might be saved, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. We're making an offer to you for this month called The Great Deception. The Key Z Stigma, the 603 score and 6, and the revealing of uh, that beast, the number of the beast, the number of a man. For a gift of $15 or more, just mention DBM, offer number 60, and we'll get the book, The Great Deception, 603 score and 6 out to you. The Mark of the Beast, the Number of a Man, 603 score and 6, the Key Z Stigma, out to you. I know that'll be a blessing to you. Well, until the next time, this is Brother Dennis Beard saying, Behold the Real Jesus.